Hi friends, welcome to my new video on the channel. Today we'll be making a very simple sweet Copra Pak. Copra Pak is nothing but a coconut fudge. This is my granny's recipe because my granny's family was from Indore. And this recipe is also called Mau no Copra Pak because Indore and Mau are very close to each other. To make things short, for that I have taken, you can use fresh coconut also, but I prefer taking the dried one. For this, I have taken 500 grams of coconut khaman or desiccated coconut, 200 grams of mawa, 250 grams of sugar, milk is 500 ml, I have taken two, uh, sorry, one full uh, teaspoon of elaichi seeds, we'll be using a nice teaspoon of rose essence, and if you have cochineal, use cochineal, couple of drops to give a nice pink color to the copra pak rather than leaving it totally white. So for that, since I don't have cochineal, I had rose syrup. So I have taken three tablespoons full of this rose syrup and we will be using pure ghee two tablespoons. Now for pre preparing this dish, we'll take a nice deep frying pan, put it on to full and add first nice two tablespoons and let the ghee melt a little. While the ghee is melting, in the meantime, take a thali like this, or a cake mold. You can use a spring mold so that it releases easily and grease it nicely on the side and at the bottom same thing with the thali nicely greased and keep it here i will put this mawa in the microwave so that right now it is too hard it will melt a little so i can mix it well i'll leave it inside for about two minutes here to this we add the coconut and mix it with the fat and fry it nicely not on a very high flame but a moderate flame along with this we shall add the elaichi seeds and mix it well. After frying the coconut a little, we add the sugar to it. This is the time when we add milk so that the coconut doesn't burn. Add the rose syrup or the cochineal to give it a nice pink color. And cook it on a very low flame. And we add the whole mawa to it.
this we go on frying till the liquid evaporates a little and the whole copra pak leaves the bottom of the pan and the sides keep turning this and let it cook on a low flame and in the meantime i have taken 20 grams of almonds and 20 grams of pistachio and sliced it so that we can use it as a garnish the essence we'll put in last minute Now after 30 minutes you can see it is nice and dry So now we shall be cooking another 15 minutes but before that we shall add some rose essence to it about 1 teaspoon And as I said, if you feel like making it from fresh coconut, go ahead. But the dried coconut will taste much better. So we shall cook another ten minutes to fifteen minutes more, and our copra pak will be ready. Now that the copra pak. is nice and dry and it leaves the pan nicely we shall switch off the stove or the hot plate and leave it on for some time and then we shall dish it all out now is the time when we remove our copra pak into a grease tray we press it nicely all over so that it takes a nice form don't make it too thick and don't make it too thin It should be at least minimum of two inches in height. So after pressing this nicely, we put this aside and take the remaining copra pak. and put it into the thali just press it properly spreading it well all over and equal this copra pak is ready to eat after we put it in the fridge for at least 3 to 4 hour hours later it is up to you how you like to cut it you can cut it in diamond shape i like it in diamond shape or you may even cut it in squares after doing this we spread the nuts all over the copra pak after placing the nuts just press it a little the nuts so that it sticks well to the copra pak and when you cut it it doesn't fall easily 
So, here we are with our finished product. This is our finished product. We shall put this in the fridge for at least four hours before cutting. So please prepare this copra pak. It is not difficult. It is very easy. And enjoy it. Till the next time that we meet. Bye bye, au revoir, and off we does it.